Welcome back to another video. My friend Gina stopped by with her bus. So now we have another bus over here on the property. It's always fun to have tons of buses. So now we got the Slacker bus, we got Gina's bus, we got Navi, and then Ivan is just over here in the woods right here. We're gonna go start working on Ivan, get back to working on the shower, working on the office, and you know, maybe Gina will be really nice and give us a little bit of a tour of what she's got working on over here, and we can check that out a little later. This is Gina. And Finnegan. And Finnegan. <laughs> Can't forget Finnegan, he's the star of the show. He is, he's the wonderful travel dog. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Stay tuned later to see how you can join Skillshare's online learning community. Hi buddy, how are you doing today? Good, good and you, glad. Hey Dale, how's it doing? Good. In the previous video, we're working on the shower, getting all of this kind of laid out and figured out. Um, what I need to do now is actually get wood up on this and wood up on this so that we can actually do the waterproofing and the rest of the curdy system. But when I was getting ready to do this, like literally a minute ago, I realized that before I put this wall on, I need to put the office in because everything is getting screwed through this beam and I uh, can't get through the beam if I put the wall up. So we have to get the desk done first, then we can get the shower all sheeted up and get that started. But you know, as long as we're getting something checked off the list, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. It's still fun and we're still moving forward. So we're gonna get started on that office desk space right here, and then we'll go back and move into the bathroom. plan is here to install the counter or the desk the counter it's a piece of the counter but it's going to be a desktop and then what i want to do is make a drawer space down here that's going to pull out and then if you've ever seen one of those like old school desks where the top opens i want the top to open so i can store my computer uh, keyboard mouse uh, hard drives whatever inside of that uh, container so that when it opens i can just open it like a school desk grab my stuff close it and then I have actually working space right here that's lower than the desk so that I could put my laptop up here and then the actual desk out here. Also, it means I can sit on my couch and have the right distance to be able to reach my keyboard and things like that. But I don't know the height that I need to actually put it at. So I stole this cushion from Dale's bus. Thanks, Dale. You borrowed it. Borrowed it. You didn't steal it. I'm standing right here. That's true. I didn't steal it. I'm also giving it back, so I didn't technically steal it. We're going to return it. But it is the same size cushion that I'm going to be using here anyway. So it kind of gives me the, the height for my desk. So it kind of gives me a good, a good reference point to make sure that I'm putting this desk in at the appropriate height that's comfortable. This is a three inch medium density. And I think this is what I'm going to go for for the couch. So I'm going to have to get two pieces for the back and front, measure it out so it fits the fold out. But this is a good example and I'm liking it. building out this desk. It's a really cool idea, really excited about it, but I've worked on some measurements of how big the actual drawer is gonna be, because I realized the whole point of this is to hold my computer, hold my keyboard, my mouse, and all that stuff, but I don't actually know how big my computer is, so I might be possibly building a drawer right now that's not even gonna work, or I'm gonna have to buy a new computer. But that's not happening. So from the looks of this, I've got 18 and 5 eighths is my width and 11 and a half is the depth of it. And it looks like I'm gonna have about, well, let's just assume that the desk is the drawer. It's gonna look something like this. So it'll be like right about here. So it looks like everything's gonna fit. Not gonna complain about that. And since we're here, we might as well, uh, you know, check up on Rachel and the ducks and Gina and Finnegan and just see how everyone's doing over here. How's it going? It's good. It's going well. Yeah. I, I feel like a human peace. being after a shower. It's you lovely. feel like a human being after a shower? Yes. There you go. Wait, when you're living in a bus and you're camping for a while, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just need a shower. Guess who else needs a shower? The duckies. They're diving for peas. Come 
here. Those are not for you. Dalton and I just finished up the first part of the drawer pit system. I want to say thanks to Dalton for, you know, stopping by and just helping out a little bit here. We got the entire exterior part built. You can kind of see that we got a false face here. There's nothing behind it. It was just there to square it off. And then I got the drawer slides in that are ready to go for the actual internal piece. Um, that's going to be the last thing I have to build is the actual drawer. But I want to take this inside the bus, make sure it all squares up, fits correctly so that I can move on confidently. But I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to work. I wanted to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community which has tons and tons of videos, thousands and thousands of videos actually, of learning courses that you can take of plus a bunch of different niches such as videoing, photography, freelance. You can learn by taking these courses from professionals in the field and creators that you probably know from YouTube. Over the last four years, I myself have joined the Skillshare community and have taken quite a few of their courses on learning things such as photography and video editing, which you see all the time on my YouTube channel. So one video course that I've actually been really interested in and I wanted to share with you specifically that's on Skillshare is their video editing course by Marquise Brownlee. Now, this is a really cool course because just like myself where I'm a self-taught filmmaker, I didn't go to school for this kind of thing, neither did he. And he shared all of his knowledge on how he actually goes through his production and has developed his YouTube channel into the tens of millions. If you're interested in joining Skillshare and joining their learning community, you can check out the link in the description below. And the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. But with that said, let's get back to the bus. Do, 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 do. One of those moments that really hope it fits, really hope it fits. Ooh. Ow! Dalton's holding the camera, but Dalton, behind the camera, mm -hmm. you were right. This piece is like a quarter inch, no, probably maybe even half inch short. So we're gonna recut that one. Everything else looks perfect though. Well, I'm holding this piece in here, but we wanted the test fit to see how the desk kind of worked in, in the spacing. Uh, I think it's about a quarter inch too long on this bottom. I don't want to let go because it's going to fall. Ooh. Ow! But this bottom piece needs to get a blade ripped out of it. It's so close to working, but you can really see how this, you know, what we were talking about before, you know, what is actually going to end up looking like. We got our desktop up here, and then I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to put the camera down. Just one second. Okay, there we go. You can see that the drawer slides are going to kind of represent how far out the actual slide's going to come out. So if I'm sitting on the bed, drawer's right here. We got a pretty good working space going on. I still have to build this box, but I think it's going to work. But I knew it was going to fall. All right, guys, what do you think? I think you all to nail that in and quit playing around. What do you think, Gina? I think it looks marvelous, and it's falling on your head. Second verse, same as the first. Little adjustments, here we go. It's a lot closer than it was a minute ago. It's still out. The bottom there. Oh, that's like perfect, man. Woohoo! One little shove. Why are you still filming? Have you got nothing better to do today than just film? I thought we were trying to get this bus done. Don't you realize we have less than, what, 20 days to, before we have to go to Colorado? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're doing it. You probably don't even have the record button on. You're just letting me talk.
I just finished up the box right here. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of that flip, you know, school desk style box. So uh, now that we have the box and the bottom in, I wanna go test fit it over there into the piece to make sure it fits. And then we will uh, get the piano hinge and everything and get the top built. And I think we'll be able to get this thing installed today and take a good look at it, put the computer in, see how it works. I thought you said you weren't coming up here in the winter to go snowmobiling. Sure looks like you like the snowmobile a little bit. It makes a good bench during the summer too, man. I think you just wanna come up for the winter. got the drawer in that took a while just didn't want to line up but now that this guy's in here I got to put the face cap that I just pulled off on and then it's gonna be a little hard to pull out There's just nothing to grab you know it's a little difficult got to get some handles at this point we got our drawer our face plate and then we got to get that top cap and this black piano hinge uh, my plan I think is gonna leave about two inches to three inches back here uh, place the piano hinge somewhere about that location and then this front section right here is what's going to open and allow me to access the computer the keyboard the mouse and all it will close back down and then what I need to go do is measure my computer again because what I want to make it is that from the front distance to the hinge is going to be like an average good spacing for like the average computer if I'm sitting here my sister sitting here a friend sitting here um, you know their computer will fit in between the piano hinge and the front lip um, or the keyboard will or whatever they want to work on. So I got to do some ergonomics and figure out exactly what's going to work best here. But I mean, it's going to be a nice little office desk and some tight storage for, you know, putting stuff away. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do for the office because I have all the upper cabinets um, that you probably saw inside the bus. I was planning on those being like closed storage and stuff. So I wasn't going to have a huge space for just computer stuff or work stuff or things like that. Um, so, you know, giving this little bit of hideaway space is going to be nice just to keep the electronics separate. One cool idea that I was just thinking I might do in the future is run wires through the back of this and maybe put like a charge port in here so that when my computer's in here, it can charge. Future thing. I don't think I'm going to do that now, but... drawer done but it's really hard to open uh, because I don't have a handle on it yet so I don't want to shut it all the way it opens I got a little finger hole right here so we can open this on up see what it looks like I just got all the stuff to fit. It's inside the box, but as you could probably see in the B-roll, it's maybe not gonna fit perfectly. I mean, it is a small desk, but my keyboard is a little bit larger because I like to use a separate keyboard. I'm just one of those people, you know? Everyone's got their thing. I like to not use the laptop keyboard when I'm sitting at a desk, but it just extends a little too far to have the keyboard and the mouse. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world because it is a rigid keyboard, but still, I mean, for a, uh, a traveling workspace, I can't complain, so let's go put it inside the bus and see what it's going to look like, test it out there, and take a seat on the couch. The drawer's in. Ooh. Hey Dale, can you grab the other side so we can open it? I got to get a handle. Yeah. But it opens, and then I got to go get my stuff and get it to fit. But look at that.
Well, there's the workspace. I know we were talking about the keyboard before. I don't think this is actually gonna be that big of a deal because because it's a rigid keyboard now that I'm sitting here, um, it's really fine. I mean, it's sturdy enough that your hand can, you know, work over here and it doesn't matter that there's nothing there. So I'm actually not gonna be as concerned about that as I thought, but the computer's up here. Uh, I got a power plug up here. I might eventually mount a monitor up here on like a swivel and that's why I put the power plug really high. Just not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. But computer fits really nicely. Got my notebook, all my stuff. You know, this is just our little storage area. I'm really happy with this. And that, you know, if I'm traveling or something or I'm just moving and I need to get in and out, like I could still store everything and close the drawer. And this still is a full hallway, you know, out the back of the bus. Well, now that we got that whole desk area done, uh, we're now gonna have to move into the shower and everything because you know, now I can actually get that all finished up. I don't have to worry about screwing anything from the back to hold that actual desk in place. So we can finish up some electrical, get that wall back in and move on forward. I did promise everyone since Gina's here that we can go over and check out her bus. So welcome to my house. All my dishes fit in this drawer. The world's largest silverware drawer. Very unnecessary, but I misjudged that. These just slide out like this. Finnegan's drawer. Honestly, he probably needs a bigger drawer. He has more stuff. Than Finnegan, you have so much stuff. He does. You have so much stuff in there. What I really like is how much room there is. This is uh, for the desk. I don't ever take this out because there's no need. It just, it doesn't really swing around when I'm driving. But the top just screws on pretty easily. This is the bed and it pulls out, but I never pull it out. Me and Finn fit just fine. And it seems like a lot of extra effort just to pull it out when we already fit. Like this is just like basically my electronics drawer. Man, I love that. Can you show me that, the pin? I've never seen this before. Uh, and I just think this is a real, I keep seeing her do it. So she's locking her drawers just using a pin that just holds them closed. That's just, it's super simple. It's so simple, but like so smart. Angle. This is Eric, right? Yes. Yeah, Eric from Wonder Boom. Of course, of course he was behind this. The fridge pins, same way. It's a little dusty, but it slides out. Um, so this works perfect. I have not thrown my back out. Thank you, Eric. And then the shelves, this again, Eric's a genius in case anyone didn't know. He came over with these little boards because I have all this baking stuff. Again, why well, I want to bake more. Um, and I was like, how are we gonna get them to stay up there? I'm worried they're gonna fly around. And he shows up with just that board that goes, I'm like, Eric, that's not gonna hold it. It's gonna, but it, none of this has, well, this doesn't normally go up here. <laughs> like that would fall. But none of this has ever fallen off this shelf. I couldn't believe it actually worked, but Eric knows his stuff. So if he tells you something, he means it. You know, with that, we got the office desk together. Gina showed up and she's hanging out with us for a couple weeks. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna be having quite a bit of fun coming up pretty soon. But I just wanna say thank you for watching. Remember, if you wanna check out more build videos, you can do that right on over here. And just remember, you can subscribe if you're interested in getting more content on buses, vans, building, and kind of any other shenanigans we get involved in. And once again, thank you to everyone over on Patreon. And uh, we'll see you next time. Dale, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here wondering why you're still filming. Why am I still filming? The video's over, Dale. I know, that's exactly why I'm wondering why you're still filming. We got other things we got to do. We got to go get wood. We got to go get this. We got to go get that. And you're standing here, the, I guess because you have a good battery, you think you could just film whatever. The last time I was here, them damn batteries, every time you turn around, we're going dead. Now the only thing that goes dead around here is the help. So.